Hello and welcome back to this tractor project. I decided to take off the rear wheel. Easier said than done. One nut, of course, always gives problems. But I managed to get it all off. It's all standing there on the jack stand, supported by the wood. Due to the jack stand not getting enough reach. Here is the drum. That's going to be the next challenge. Probably also quite difficult. It's got some large flathead screws holding it on. Don't know if I'll be able to get those off. And I can have a look at what's going on. As you can see all of that oil. So, wish me luck. But basically it's those two screws off and it should slide off. The wheel had lots of nuts, even with the air tools, in the end I did manage, I had to use the air hammer to vibrate one off, and then that came off. It does seem, look like someone's been here before, because those are the original bolts, there's that one there, and the strange one over there. But overall the wheel does not look too bad, it, it is a lot heavier than what it looks. So we'll do this side first, and then I'll have a look at the other side. The other side is not as oily, but we can have a look. Also, I'm not sure if one of the brakes is a bit seized or so that you really have to stomp on that pedal, or if it's normal for this model. Maybe you know. But anyway, on to the brake drum. Alright, here we have the brake drum off you can see it's quite oily quite too messy there's all a whole lot of mud, mud wasp nests so in the end it was very stuck onto the hub i sprayed it some wd-40 on the end and i hammered it a bit then it broke loose so that's fine but i couldn't get off there's a bit of a lip on the drum so i ended up coming through the back using a screwdriver to loosen this off you can see how incredibly rusty everything is so not really sure I was first thinking to take off this old lining and riveting on a new lining but seeing how very rusty these shoes are not quite sure if that is the right decision you can see the springs are definitely all very rusty and they need replacing the these things the retainers are all rusty that's what you get from a tractor that's been sitting for very long and the previous owner should actually have checked the brakes and changed them before he used them seeing as how incredibly thin the material is and I wouldn't exactly be confident using this so i'm glad i tackled this so these this side is very worn the other side will be too so all of these mud wasps and spiderweb ca probably came through the back of the adjuster hole because the some have a rubber bung on the back this one does not this one has a metal flip but it was actually open so that doesn't work either if it's open to keep all the dust out so i'll have to try and loosen that off in order to turn it back because at the moment this is seized and the same on the other side it's also open not very effective if it's open see how very oily it is so still need to remove all of this remove the axle and then we can probably re replace the inner seal the inner seal is the one that stops the oil coming out the outer seal is only there to stop the dust from getting into the bearing in theory but might as well change both seals seeing as how dusty and crusty this is anyway removal I'm looking forward to that all this rust Right, here's the actual drum 
it doesn't look too bad this here and there it's a very slight lip but should just be able to uh, smooth this out with a little bit of fine sandpaper and then we should be able to reuse this drum because one of these drums new is about 75 euros and I want to spend as little as possible but anyway this is the drum it took me also quite a challenge to get those two retaining screws out one came very not very easily but a little bit easier with the air hammer the other really put up a fight these surprisingly not too heavy that's okay let the fun begin all right brake shoes are off so what i did was i removed these clips first i think i should have done those last to help with removing the springs but anyway that's what i did and i wound the adjust all the way in gave the bottom shoe a whack with the hammer as i'm replacing them anyway that made the adjuster drop out then i could remove the spring that connects here then i got a bit of leverage to wiggle off the spring off of those and then this piece comes off this piece here is still fine to use luckily now comes the task of removing the axle as well as maybe first we'll clean this all off so the dirt does not go into the axle and you can also check that this one moves freely this is the actuator from the brake pedal because this can also create an impression of a stuck brake pedal or very stiff and make sure that moves freely and slowly but surely we're getting there right so in order to remove this rear axle I've disconnected the brake shaft over here so we can slide this off we have to remove all of these nuts so they are 11 16 for some reason there's a spring washer missing over here this one here is not fully tightened down so I don't know if someone else has been here before or this one has completely rusted away or something very strange anyway clearly see that we got quite a few to remove I have got a ratcheting spanner so I'll first break them loose and hopefully we can use the ratchet to loosen it off so that'll save some uh, work right the axles out so the shims unfortunately broke but believe that's quite common and you want to up for chocolate milkshake or uh, more of a coffee flavor i think it's looking excellent so this is the seal that is leaking we still got to inspect the bearing over here so these are the shims I don't know if all of them are broken or just a couple I have to carefully take them apart so far I've counted a layer of four shims so I have to see if I can find some shims again for this one and carefully extract these remove the backing plate assembly I also have a look at the bush where the brake pit uh, pivots in see there is some oil in there I don't know if uh, that is normal the welch plug is at least still in there but it looks like the welch plug has some oil in there so I don't know if the welch plug is properly seated or not although I presume a little bit of lubrication would be needed the, this uh, bushing looks a little worn out 
I'll get up closer from the other side and see. It looks like over here we've also got a lovely greasy mess, seeing as something is leaking over there. But we'll concentrate on this part first. Hopefully. Also, you can see this is nicely streaming out of here. If we do need to replace the bushing, it's probably have to remove this axle holder or trumpet assembly. And if we do that, we'll have to drain the oil. And it will need a little bit of a bigger container than that, seeing as it's 30 liter capacity plus whatever water is in there. Perhaps it's better to remove it in any case to clean all of this oil, oily water out. I don't know. I'll first have a look at the axle itself. I couldn't feel any play in the bearing, but who knows, you need the press to actually separate the shaft from the bearing housing, which I don't have a press. <laughs> 